Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today, of course, we are back on the single player world Aqua's Adventure and we're going to have lots of fun, hopefully do some projects here and there. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So joining me today is my dog, which is right next to me. You can't see her because she's not in the webcam, but my dog is right next to me, kind of just chilling. Uh, but yeah, real quick, I do want to say that lately I have been live streaming quite a lot. I don't know if it's going to kind of still be that way when I release this video but lately I have been live streaming so a lot of this video is gonna have a lot of stuff from the live streams so let's kind of just go through one by one these are of course the things I did in between this episode and then some of the things we'll be doing this episode so let's take care of each one some skyscraper work so last episode I showed you guys a skyscraper that I started and we did one of the floors and then I said I would continue and go ahead and finish all the floors well that is done and since we're here, uh, another one of the signs says, I built a bridge here. Uh, try to spot the bridge. Where is the bridge? Well, I know you, you might not see it. Some, Most of you probably can, but I'll show you in a minute here. But yeah, so let's just get kind of two signs out of the way. The building, the some of the work I did on the building and the bridge. So what I wanted to do, I'll give you guys a little story. I wanted to build a bridge to there somehow. And I've tried it literally like 20 ways, building it here, building it there, building like an ice bridge, building a wooden bridge, building a stone bridge, building an ice bridge, lava bridge, literally everything. And <clears throat> none of it fit right because over here, it's kind of like a calm and then snowy area and that's like a business building, like it didn't fit. So well, my idea was to build a bridge that is invisible that you could pop up. So it's like the bridge isn't even there um so i know my redstone isn't the best here but this is kind of what i came up with and i know again it's kind of very hard this is kind of just for fun i built this for fun like so right now if you press this lever all the pistons shoot up forming a little bridge you can walk on once you get over here you could put down the bridge so of course no one else will see it go into your business building and real quick let's take a look at this so when we left off, everything was dark, and we just had this one layer of wood on. Well, now I added glowstone all the way up and torches all the way around to every single room. So yeah, if we go up here, every single room is done. The same, the glowstones are all in the same place, and the torches are all in the exact same place too. The entire building is done. So yeah, this building took a good couple hours to finish. But I'm really proud of it. It's a really nice building. So, you guys, I don't know if I showed you the entire building because I don't know if you guys watched last episode. But just imagine this floor duplicated over maybe 30 times all the way up. It's a massive amount of wood and stone and glass. So, this is this is pretty big. But now, if we want to get back to our house, all we got to do is make the pistons go back up. Walk across it. And then flick this lever and it'll go back. Whoops. And then if you want to fix the water, you could press that to kind of fix the water. I don't think it fixes right there. Actually, it did fix it. Cool. And then, yeah, it's hidden again. Okay, so that gets two signs out of the way. And now we got still a couple more to go through. One of the signs says, I got stone, but I used all of the stone to build the railway to spawn. So let's kind of take a look at what I did. If you guys remember the last episode or two episodes ago, we built the entrance over to spawn and I planned to build a railway all the way there so the railing was done but the actual tunnel itself wasn't it was just kind of rock but I have finished it so I got a bunch of stone and I went ahead and for a couple hours actually not even that long it was good a little bit but you guys are probably just gonna have to take my word for it here it goes all the way to spawn see I'm not gonna walk down but yeah I used a lot of stone okay guys so yeah so far I've showed you guys three things that I've done off camera and all of them have taken like a couple hours so so far we're off to a crazy start but one quick thing is in between I also did get more stone yeah I got a good bit of stone because I mined on stream so actually for again a probably a good maybe eight hours overall throughout my entire streams I just mined 
and just mined and mined and mined. So this is kind of my new mining setup here. So using shulker boxes, night vision potions, and just some silk touch efficiency five on breaking three picks, I managed to get a ton of ore. So this is just a quick look into my coal chest. So it's almost a double chest full of coal ore. We go over to my iron chest, almost a chest filled with iron ore. About this is a good bit of gold right there. We got a couple emeralds here and there. We got almost a two stacks of diamond ore and a stack of diamonds that I broke earlier. So yeah, we got a lot of co of mining done on stream. On stream, of course, there are people watching me, and one of the main people that watches on me on stream and on YouTube is someone called Mapmaker on YouTube. Or I call her Kim. So she actually is a moderator on my Twitch and she's very supportive here on YouTube too. And she often in the comments gives me suggestions on what to build and in this case while I was streaming she gave me suggestions on what to do. So as you guys know we did get polar bears in like a couple updates ago and we did get llamas in the last update. And I need rooms for both of them at the moment. The polar bears are actually still stuck in this room over here. And the llamas are outside over by the maze. But she gave me suggestions on where to put both of them. Uh, so, suggested by Mapmaker or Kim. Uh, build polar bear near the igloo. So, as you guys know, I, there isn't kind of an igloo I built over here for fun. And on stream, again, a lot of this was done off stream because I've been streaming so much. If you guys remember, there was an entire river here. This thing was an actual river. I don't know if you guys could go through my past episodes and look what was here. But yeah, this thing was just like how this is like right here. It was a river throughout the entire thing. I ended up making kind of like a step up and covered the entire thing. And yeah, her suggestion was build the polar bears near the igloo because polar bears and snow. So I don't know if this episode or next episode or, or whenever, but the polar bears are going to go right here. It was a great idea by her. And she also suggested where we should put the llamas. And if you guys know, over here, we do have kind of like a little shack, kind of like a little restaurant, Hawaiian kind of place. And she suggested that the llamas should go somewhere around kind of the pool and the shack. And that gave me a little bit of an idea. I was probably going to put them over here, but I thought you would be better if it's right behind the pool and over here. So I dug a little bit into the mountain and the llamas are going to go over here. So again, these are both now planned projects, which we will do. So we will build homes for both the polar bear and the llamas. And once again, a big thank you to Kim because of course she moderates my Twitch chat and she's so supportive. And the last thing we have to just kind of look at before we start the episode is look at a cake. So in honor of Kim, for helping me so much on Twitch and YouTube. Her birthday was, I think, December 17th, so it was a good bit ago. It's, like, it's long gone by now. But, yeah, in her honor, on stream, just for the fun, we built her a birthday cake. So over here says, happy birthday, happy late birthday from the stream, January 3rd, late December 17th birthday, so I was right. And these were the people that were in my stream at the moment. Uh, AEC47, his name is AK47, but we like to screw with him. Killer Toast, me, and of course, Kim or Mapmaker. So yeah, she kind of mentioned it was kind of her late birthday. So I went ahead and built her a birthday cake on stream, and she requested candles. So I have provided some candles. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good model, to be honest. Now, I did put it right next to the dog uh, kind of grave. So maybe birthday cake and dog grave don't go next to each other, but I still think it's a very good cake. And yeah, as always, we, I've been breeding some animals, uh, killing them, XP and stuff. And I know there's not a lot of stuff in here because I actually emptied it. If we go into the house, I can show you the chests. So if we go over here, yeah, hey, you could see that my meat is actually, my meat chest is com almost completely filled. And I have stocked up on a good bit of leather here. Okay, so one kind of the, one of the last things I want to do just to kind of show off is Elytra. Now you guys might say, oh, well, we already know what Elytra is. Well, in the recent update that came out a couple weeks ago from when this video comes out, they have added an update 
where you could actually boost yourself with firework rockets. So these are made without firework stars. So yeah, make some fireworks without firework stars. That's very, very important. And if you have some Elytra on, this will actually boost you into the air. So now it does use rockets, but guys, this, in my opinion, is the biggest thing they've done in years. You might say, well, what's just what's the big deal? You just added some fireworks that can propel you. Guys, if you grab yourself an Elytra and you make some fireworks, which are fairly, fairly cheap, this opens up a new just everything. Exploring is easier. You know what? Here, I'll just show you. What am I doing? So we've got our Elytra on. So now let's just say we jump. Got to kind of get flying. Look, guys. For just the price of some firework rockets, we have unlimited flight. Now, it does use the duration on the Elytra, but as long as you have a lot of Elytra and a lot of firework rockets, we can literally fly. This is game mode one. This is game changing. Finding new biomes is going to be so much easier. Getting places so much easier. Everything's faster. This will help with building. Like, this is incredible so yeah guys we can we've never been able to do this before literally just fly through our world we do you want to go to the top of this tower it's really not that hard just grab my elytra and we can just go right to the top we've made it here without even going through any stairs any ladders we can just go up here this opens up so much it's unbelievable so yeah the world is our playground now we can go anywhere, anytime we want, as long as we have some Elytra on. I do got to make sure. I think I... Ooh. Stuff like that I really need to be careful of because I'm pretty sure you can die too. But guys, I'm going to land on the water, I guess. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, so we do have to get onto some projects. I got to stop showing you guys stuff that I did off stream. So give me a second and I'm going to plan what to do for today's episode. All right, everybody, so I think the plan for today is we are going to build the home for the polar bears. And by the way, if you can hear my dog breathing really loudly, she's behind me and she's panting really loud. So sorry about that. But yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and build the polar bear home over there. Now, we're not going to finish it today. I think it's going to be one of those things where it's an ever ongoing project. We'll build a lot of it and then we'll add on as time goes on. But I do need some materials, and that'll consist of mostly fences, snow, and ice. Okay, for this project, we're going to be mainly be using birch fences, packed ice, and, of course, some snow. That's going to kind of be the main material. And we might make a couple things out of white wool if we kind of need to, though I don't think we will. Yeah, let's head over to the site. Of course, like I repeat millions of times, we are building it here near the po near the igloo. We're building the polar bears near the igloo. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of start building and we'll see what it turns into. So for now, it's not going to be too, too big because, again, this is going to be kind of the beginning of the build and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, so we are almost done here with just the platform. So this is going to be the ground they are going to be walking on. I guess I'll take those snowballs. So this is going to be the main ground. And you know what? We're going to expand that maybe about two or three more quickly. Okay, just like that. This is going to be the base for it. So now let's add kind of the perimeter so we know where to work around. And then hopefully I brought enough fences. I probably didn't. I'll just have to go grab more. But let's just kind of set the perimeters for now. And then we'll see how what what this turns into. Because honestly, I'm not sure yet myself. I kind of have a mental image, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to need a couple more fences. But you know what? I'll wait on those fences and we'll kind of start building inside of here. So there are a couple things that I want, but I'm going to have to go back to the base and grab them. So I'm going to go grab those real quick. Okay, so I grabbed some actual just normal ice and some water buckets and some more fences. All right, so just disregard what I said a minute ago. We are going to fill in the rest of the fences here. And then we will work inside of the perimeter. So this is kind of where the polar bears are going to live. We don't. We only have two right now, so it's not like I need a giant space anyway. 
So yeah, what do polar bears like? Well, first of all, what I'm thinking is we'll build kind of a little mountain for them. And that was a little bit of lag right there. So yeah, first let's build a little mountain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make, yeah, seven's good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And then, yeah, each time we'll go a step up. So we'll build them just a little thing to climb on. And then hopefully they won't be able to jump past the fences. And it doesn't look like they should be able to. Just like that. And now they have kind of a little mountain to climb on. Just like their old, their old place in the wild. And in a minute here, we might start removing some of this and maybe replace it with snow. But real quick, let's add some actual fence gates. So let's put one around kind of every little bit here. And I'm probably just going to go around and add them to every corner. And there we go. That is all snowed up now. So it looks a little bit better while walking here because it looked a little bit funky beforehand. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's kind of continue. So, of course, they need a little water source. So the water source itself, I think, should go maybe about here. Let's kind of make like a little kind of oddly shaped kind of place because I want it to look kind of like a pond, like a natural pond. And then, oh, I think I have to go down here. Okay, I guess from below here, we'll start kind of filling this in. Okay, and there is the little, little pond. Now we need to get some water in here. So let's kind of just place some ice down, break it, and water will start spreading. So I'm just going to take extra, extra precautions and just kind of limit that off there. So this is their little water source. But I do want to give them some authentic kind of feeling. So let's add some ice around the place. So all right here, let's just add a ton of ice. Kind of like a little ice rink. Okay, so let's just fill it with packed ice. Just like this. And then we will add some like ice spikes and some spruce trees in a minute here. To make it feel like home. Okay, so there we got some ice. And we could actually add maybe a spruce tree like right over here. Right in the middle here. We got some spruce saplings. I did bring some bone meal. It's actually already in my inventory. So bam, there is a little tree. I know while that tree kind of comes down a little bit, let's kind of build an ice spike. Now, I don't exactly know how to build these. Let's just kind of use this as the middle. And of course, these are going to be mini ice spikes because we're not in a real ice spike biome. I'll kind of just build it up just like that. And maybe do a little something like that. Like that. Uh, okay, maybe it needs to be. Cause I, also, I don't want the polar bears jumping over that fence. So I do need to kind of limit it here. Maybe like that. I think that's good. Kind of like that. And yeah, that tree is still coming down. But let's add kind of little bits of ice here and there. Just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer here. Add a little bit more ice. Maybe a little bit of a different color going. And then when we add lights, hopefully it doesn't melt. We'll try to kind of keep the lights maybe f a little bit further away from it. And if it melts, there'll they'll just be some water lying around, I guess. Okay, I think there's enough of the tree gone. Let's try at the tree again. See what we get. All right, that's a better tree. I think these were ones that were still breaking. Let's break that. Yeah, I think this is a better tree overall. That is a way better tree. All right, I like it. That is a good tree. Okay, so we do need to light it up a bit. So let's grab some jack-o'-lanterns, some torches, and some end rods. Is that they called? End rods? End rod. Yep, I knew that. So yeah, let's kind of go around. Maybe like up here we'll 
Oh no, we made an uh, we made a golem. Oh no. We got to be careful of that actually. Never mind. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh Hmm. <laughs> okay. As long as we don't have a block underneath, it doesn't make a golem, right? Right. So we need to break that one actually. There we go. Just like that. And it still made a golem. All right, this is going to be a problem. You know what we will do? We will add a couple snow golems, though. Just because. Yeah, it's, I think it's a good little design. And they'll add snow as they walk around. So that's pretty good. And then, you know what? We'll make a couple more. We'll use all the jack o' lanterns for this. One, two, three. We'll add a bunch of them here. And then we'll use these rods here and there. Maybe put one over there. Put one over here. Put one over here. And then hopefully it doesn't melt. I guess we will see. But yeah, these guys. We'll kind of walk around and put I, uh, snow everywhere, which will be kind of cool. And I know th these torches will kind of melt it, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I think this looks pretty cool. We've got some things running around. Now, we only have one thing actually missing, and that is the polar bears themselves. So let's go ahead and try to grab those. And head over to the polar bears. We finally made them a home, guys. And again, that home isn't done. We will expand and make it better over time. But for now, that is what we have. So let's grab the two polar bears. Come on, you two. I haven't touched you in ages. Okay, I'm going to have to get through this door quite quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Bam, got him. Successful. Okay, how are we going to take him? I guess we'll take him through here. You can do it. Come on, other polar bear. Boom. Now I just got to get him in here. Let's kind of break through here then. Come on, you two. Get in here. Blocked. And bam, and bam. So look, guys, we finally got the polar bears in here. Now, we probably should have built them kind of like a little igloo. Hmm. Maybe this can serve as the igloo. Maybe we'll kind of just break into here just like that. And this will be their little home right here. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be good. Kind of like that. That is their little cave den. We'll put that in there. And if we wanted to, we can kind of add some, like, piles of snow. Kind of like that couple piles here just like that guys so this is their new home okay so for the llamas it's gonna be kind of like a field place because they do f spawn in like normal forests and stuff grassland so we're gonna grab some grass all right so all the grass is in place now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the fences and we're just gonna line them almost right where this comes by so just around like this, but we're going to make this one a little bit kind of crazier, so it's kind of being a forest. It's going to kind of go zigzaggy and make it look a little bit out of pattern. Except I don't want it to look like that, though. I don't want it to be overlapping like that. And let's add two pieces like that, and bam, that should be just like that. So let's jump in here. Now we want to make this look kind of like a forest. So what we're going to do... We're going to take some trees and some the other types of trees and kind of add a couple here and there. And I need these to be more tall than they are kind of wide. I need these to be tall. All right, that's pretty good. And that's pretty good. Let's add maybe a spruce one back here. Oh, that's really good, actually. Let's add maybe another spruce one. Bam, tall one, nice. Maybe one more. Mm, okay, you know what? This one could stay low since it's around the corner. Okay, cool. And then in between these, of course, for animals, you need water sources. So we'll add water about right here. Just like that. Bam, and then I actually, my pick is silk touch, so we're going to have to break these by hand. 
but it's fine. It'll stay as water sources just like that anyway. So that's pretty good. Okay, so now we do kind of have to go around and add some elevated places because I don't want it to be completely flat. So we'll kind of go in the back here and add a little bit of elevation here and there. Make it not look so artificial. Okay, I think that is pretty good right there. Maybe we can go around back and add a couple more. Alright, now let's add some maybe flowers. So we'll just go around and kind of just click create some flowers here and there. And then I do want some flowers. Let's keep doing this until we get a few flowers here and there. Let's get a couple more. There we go. I do want it to be kind of colorful. We'll just keep breaking until we get flowers. Oh, okay, this is, that isn't a piece of grass, so I need that to be grass. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. And then let's add some tall grass. So let's make a couple of these tall back here. Just like that. And then let's add, I guess the entrance will be right here. And I did I bring any entrance? I didn't. I guess we'll use the birch. How bad? It doesn't look that bad, actually. So, yeah, again, this isn't going to be official. We'll fix it up as we go on. Let me take care of these two pieces of floating dirt, though. And then, yeah, we'll bring the llamas over. And then, yeah, over time, after episodes, I'll do landscaping up there. But this is just going to be the llama's home just for now. And we do have some leashes, which is good. Now, the only problem with these llamas is that I have a good amount of them, not like the polar bears. I do have a good amount here. I'm going to grab one, two, three. And you, I guess. Let's grab you three. And then I know that I have... Oh, wait, they follow. I forgot they follow. Okay, so we, don't even... we could only grab one if we wanted to. <laughs> they make some weird noises, honestly. So let's open these up and get them in here. So this your this will be your new home, llamas. Okay, let go of the leash. There we go. And then close this up. And then hopefully they'll spread out over time and not just bunch up like that. But let's remove the fences that were over here. And we're going to be good. Now we have built a home, at least temporary for both of those. Or, not temporary, I mean, that's going to be their home forever. But, I mean, we started and we could make it better over time. But yeah, I don't even have room in my inventory, actually. So let's drop nothing. You know, actually, we'll drop these seeds. And pick these up. So yeah, and I might even replace those gates if I have to. You, you know what I'll do here? I'll just move these forward where I want because it's kind of bothering me a little bit. Where did they go? They're over here. Move them forward. And there we go. So now they're starting to spread out. This will be their new home, guys. Cool. So we did it. All right, guys. So I know most of this episode was things we did off camera, but I mean, I did spend like a week or two off camera doing stuff. So I kind of have to show it off. But we did do some cool projects today. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Next episode, I'll try to get some more work done live instead of doing everything off camera. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.